Good morning today. Today, today, today. Today we're going to discuss fuses and circuit breakers. So this is a fuse and this fuse is connected to a power supply. The current is slowly being increased. Notice the wire in the fuse begins to glow. And as the current increases, eventually the fuse will no longer conduct electricity. Notice at this point, part of the metal of the fuse has melted. And as a result, the circuit is now open. So this is the official definition of a fuse. A fuse is a piece of metal that is designed to melt due to the heating effect caused by current. And so this diagram is just trying to show you the difference between a fuse that is functional here and can conduct electricity. The wire notice is intact and this fuse which has melted as a result of too much current flowing through it. Now why do we even use fuses? Well a fuse is used to limit the amount of current an electrical device may receive to prevent it from being damaged. So these three devices here all use fuses and the main idea is that if too much current flows through the circuits in this appliance the fuse will break versus damaging other parts of the equipment or the circuits which are more expensive to replace. In general, fuses are very cheap to replace, only costing a few dollars. Fuses in cars protect radios, information screens, dome lights, motors for windshield wipers. So this diagram here is a typical fuse found in a car and for comparison's sake it's about the size of a quarter. When too much current flows this part of the fuse will actually melt. Now here we have a motor for a windshield wiper. The fuse is designed to protect the motor. If the motor has too much current flowing through it then the motor can become damaged. So when can too much current flow through a motor? Well, if the windshield wipers have too much resistance, for example, if the wipers are trying to remove snow or ice off of a windshield, then that can cause too much current to flow through the motor, which would then cause the motor to be damaged. So instead, this fuse here protects that from happening. And why is that important to protect that from happening? Well, a motor for a windshield wiper blades can cost anywhere between two and three hundred dollars to repair. Fuses however are relatively cheap. They don't cost more than a dollar and the repair would take less than a few minutes to do. A fuse rated for 15 amps means that the maximum amount of current that can go through the fuse is 15 amps. So the wire within the fuse is designed to melt when 15 amps goes through it. So any current greater than 15 amps would cause the fuse to melt, which then would open the circuit, preventing current from flowing around the circuit. Once the fuse melts, it needs to be replaced. In homes, fuses or circuit breakers protect the home wiring from electrical fire. So the function of a fuse or a circuit breaker box in a home is to protect the actual wires, because if the wires get too hot, a fire can take place. So this is a typical fuse used in older homes, homes that are greater than 40 years of age. And newer homes have circuit breaker boxes like this, where these don't actually need to be replaced. All you have to do is flip the switch back to reset it. So let's look at a typical example. Draw a circuit diagram with a 120 volt source of power. A load, 100 ohms resistance, a 120 watt tuner stereo, a 100 watt light bulb, and a 660 watt microwave in parallel, and a 10 amp fuse in series with the loads, along with a switch for each component. Would this fuse melt if the circuit switches were all closed? So the real question is, how much current will flow? If the current's greater than 10 amps, 
then yes, the fuse will melt, circuit will open, and current will stop flowing. If it's less than 10 amps, then nothing will happen. So we're going to start off by drawing the 120 volt source. And in addition, we will add the 10 amp fuse. The symbol for a fuse looks sort of like an S. Next, we're going to add our 100 ohm resistance. We've added our 100 ohm resistance along with a switch. The switch is currently open. Next, we add our 120 watt tuner stereo. Again, the switch is open right now. We'll add our 100 watt light bulb. And finally, our 660 watt microwave. Notice we're using the exact same circuit symbol to represent the loads. We're using the symbol associated with the resistor. And notice the switches for all four loads are open. So the question is how much current would flow if all those switches were closed, if all these devices were turned on at the same time. So that's our goal, current, or the symbol for current is I. Now the one thing you have to remember about parallel circuits before you even begin this question is that the voltage for each load is the same at 120 volts. That's important. If you don't have that prior knowledge, then you really can't even begin to do this question. So right now I'd like you to pause the video and see if you can determine the current for each load. Okay, hopefully you tried that. We have an equation for current, which is voltage over resistance, when you're given the resistance. We also have an equation for current, which is power over voltage, or potential difference, when you're given the power. So using that equation multiple times, we end up getting 1.2 amps for the 100 ohm resistor, 1.0 amps for the 120 watt tuner stereo, 0.83 repeating amps for the 100 watt light bulb, and finally 5.5 amps for the 660 watt microwave. So if all these switches were closed at the same time, what would the total current be? Well, we just add. And to two significant digits, it's 8.5 amps. And so, the end result is that the fuse does not melt or blow. So hopefully you've come to some understanding about the function of fuses or circuit breakers. In a home, they are designed to protect the actual wires of the home from electrical fire. Because as you saw, if too much current flows through a wire, it can melt. In the case of a home, the wires could actually catch fire. For devices, fuses protect certain critical components of the device. For a car, for example, the fuse in the situation we looked at protected the motor for a windshield wiper. A motor is very expensive to replace. A fuse is very cheap. Have a great day. Bye-bye.